morning. Welcome to Flyover News from Southeast Oklahoma. Sunny, warm Southeast Oklahoma. Yes, we are in the middle of this heat wave that's got a lot of the country, I guess. Uh, it's going to be over 100 here today. And um, the, the heat index will be 110, 12, 14. They, they've been suggesting different numbers. So it's uh, bright and early, 6.30. We've got the tractor ready to go, sitting out there. We're going to go out and, and do some mowing in the, the woods mow out some of the trails that hasn't been mowed this year it is all ready to be mowed it's dry now we can get in there good so that's our plan we're going to try to i'm going to try to mow until 11 or 11 30 and then i'm going to sit in the air conditioning and take it easy during the heat of the day but anyway uh, that's our plan for today maybe we'll shoot a little bit of video thanks for tuning in take a break i've been mowing for about an hour and a half close to an hour and a half and i've got quite a bit done but i gotta get off the tractor and let my back uh, relax a little bit sit in a different position drink some water it's uh time? it's 807 now and i started mowing at about 645 so that's not too bad what do you think Okay, so this is out by the road. The road, the county, county blacktop is right on the other side of all those trees right there. It goes down to the corner where the creek is. We're gonna, I'm gonna work my way down through here, mow all this out a little bit, and maybe it won't come back too strong, um, and knock it all down, all the way down to the, to the corner. Taking a break again, it's nine o'clock now. So we are um, on the east side through our east gate and uh, mowed all the trails out over here. Uh, it's okay, Cooper, it's okay. Mowed all the trails out. And we got this little bit of pasture over here. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm not gonna mow all it, but we mowed this, we go through it when we go this way, but it won't hurt anything. Uh, so yeah, it's starting to get warm and I'm, my back's starting to get a little tight, but I'm doing good. All in all, doing really good. Let's see what Cooper thinks. Cooper, what do you think? You doing all right? Huh? Okay, it's all right. Yeah, everything, it's all good. You're just sitting here hanging out, huh? Yeah, can we shoot the gun a little bit? No, probably not. <laughs> he heard, heard Janice throwing rocks over there. He's like, oh, what was that? Okay. Beautiful day. Just about perfect weather. I know it's gonna be really hot this afternoon, but and it's starting to warm up now, but it's still, it's a beautiful day. Good morning. Beautiful morning down here in southeastern Oklahoma. So we got some stuff planned for today. Uh, I'm gonna get out and try to mow a little bit with the, uh, when I say mow, I mean use the, the brush hog. I'm gonna mow some trails out with it and along some fence line. It's hot, it's supposed to be 100 degrees today down here in beautiful southeast Oklahoma. And with about 50% humidity. So yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, it's gonna be hot this afternoon, that's for sure. It's about 7.15 this morning. I'm gonna get out and see if I can um, um, 
get a bunch of work done and be back in by about 11 30 or 12 o'clock so uh, we we don't do the heat too good these days all right so uh, gonna get the ranger out out of the way and then i've got to start the tractor up i'm gonna hook it to the brush hog over there and we'll get everything rolled out and see if we can get started here a little bit. All right, got to drive down to the road first. I'm gonna unlock the gate and uh, got some mail to put in the mailbox. We'll see if we can get all that situated before we get get gone and out the back pasture. Where we're gonna be is about uh, half a mile away from the house here and everything. So we'll get everything like we want it, lock everything up, and then go go work for a while. Okay, we're gonna mow all through there. That grass is about knee deep. It's got all kinds of wildflowers in it too. It's kind of pretty, but uh, we're gonna mow it all out. gonna be a nice day today it's supposed to be in the mid to low 80s it's so much better than when we were in the high 90s so uh got a lot of mowing done um last couple times all out through the uh through some trails so i'm gonna mow back behind our uh, oil and gas lease and along there we've got some stuff some area underneath some trees we keep mowed out so that's the plan for today see if we can get some of that done Got to get this guy cranked up and hook him up to the brush hog. See if we can make it run.
Okay, so we got most of this all mowed underneath the trees. It came out pretty good. Janice is also having a fire and burning some, some dead limbs and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go back over to the, uh, back by the five acres and mow outside the five acres a little bit. It hadn't been mowed this year either. It's got a bunch of weeds and scrub brush and vines and all, all kinds of stuff growing in it. So yeah, we're taking these. There's Cooper. Hey Cooper, how you doing buddy? Can you say hi? Can you say hi Cooper? Yeah, yeah, that, there's a close up of Cooper, yeah, yeah. You doing all right? He gets to come and watch. He doesn't get to get out of, out of the ranger because he's a puppy. He, he's just a year old. He may run for a long time, you never know. He's a pretty good boy, but he, he does get kind of excited. Janice had a big fire going there a few minutes ago, but it's mostly burnt down now. So we haven't mowed that side over there. Someday I'll mow that side over there. There's not much grass in there. It's just vines and stuff. So there's not a lot to be gained from that. But over here, if I keep this mode, we have a, a good stand of grass and it's just more, more calcium. Okay, so uh, it's about 11.30. We, we were out here about 8.30 and uh, got a lot done. Um, I think it's time to go eat a little bit of lunch, but we got a lot done. I'm tired. I got to get off the tractor a while, but bouncing around on that is kind of tough. Cooper says he's ready for lunch. Cooper, you ready to get something to eat? What do you think, huh? Okay, it's six o'clock in the morning down here in southeastern Oklahoma. It is a balmy 57 degrees. It feels like jacket weather. Man, the, the sky's clear, the, this heat wave is, it's good. they say it's gonna come back, but it is, it is nice and cool right now. The little schnauzer, Cooper, he's loving it. He's running around all over the place out here. He's been playing with the cat and, and all that stuff. But yeah, it is cool this morning. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done the last few days. I'm gonna take the tractor today. And uh, if you remember a while back, we had a bunch of limbs that washed into, uh, washed into one of our, our uh, culverts down there by the road and it, it's blocked it all off so so it floods part of our pasture so yeah i'm gonna try to get the tractor in there this after this morning before it gets hot and see if i can um, knock it all loose and clean it up with the tractor it's it's going to be a, a tick and snake infested place last time i was in there i got a hold almost got a hold of a of a large water moccasin so um Hopefully we don't do that again, but yeah, this will be checking for ticks all night after this. So anyway, that's what's on store for this morning. What do you think, Cooper? You like riding? You seen any cows? Doing all right, buddy? We take the cattle, the, the morning cattle drive, uh, pretty frequent, not every, every morning, but uh, pretty frequent. He's uh, he's learned where all the cows are supposed to be. He likes to go see everybody's business, I guess. Okay, yeah, I'm headed for the uh, headed for the spot where the, where the creek is. It's all full, cool, so if I can get some dance off this guy, I'll have to make a way to get into it first. It'll, it'll Okay, so I've driven over here. So yeah, I've got to, I've got to, to that's about a three foot drop there. I got to smooth that out back this way a little bit so that I can drive down in there safely. And then I gotta, I've got to go through there to get to where I need to be. But first we've got to pull this big stump out. 
the stump's been there a long, long time from, from when we put this fence in out here. That used to be a tree that was standing in that way and we, the county moved it up in there for us. But anyway, um, we've got a, some skidding tongs and, and a chain. So we got to pull all that out. And then, a little treacherous here with the camera. And then I've got to work my way through there about uh, 50 yards. I get to the spot that needs to be cleaned out. The water is not supposed to run this way. The water, the, when the water comes across the road up through there and it comes up into there, it's supposed to go that way. It's supposed to go east. And all of the pasture and stuff is supposed to drain out through this way. But instead, uh, because it's dammed up down there, all of this stuff came from some people up that way who were about a mile up that way, half a mile up that way, who were cutting trees down. They threw the limbs, the trash, they threw it into the little creek that runs under. It's not the main creek, but it's a small creek. So anyway, I gotta get the tractor up in there and see if I can get all that cleaned out. What a mess, huh? Okay, that's smoothed out pretty good. That'll let me get down in there nice and easy. And uh, yeah, I can drive right down through here and go that way this is not gonna be fun it's low ceiling there all it we'll have to cut all those limbs back and stuff so it'll drag you off the tractor if I don't here Jan is coming with the Ranger here she comes she's got skidding tongs and a chain with her in the Ranger so we'll hook on right there on that end and pull it out here she comes her and Cooper are headed this way so we are ready to get out <laughs> Well, we're working our way in, knocking stuff down as we go. We've got the tractor here, getting close. I've tried to push this tree over. Uh, the tree was alive until we burnt a bunch of stuff in here. It won't, I can't push it over, can't break it. I tried pulling it up with a chain, I tried everything. Janice is going to get a chainsaw and cut it off at the ground. And then once I get that done, I can go through, right on through here. This is the, kind of the flattest spot. I'll have to push that up, dig that up. And then that's where I'm going. See all of this stuff here, even those like those big ones, all of this stuff washed in here. From these morons up the road. Sorry for using that word, but that's pretty much it. I've talked to them, they're nice people. They, I mean, they just don't know any different. I don't think they'll do it again. I talked to them nicely, they won't do it again. But that's what washed in here. So the water's supposed to go that way, but it, it just created a dam all this stuff against those trees and then it started going back that way so I don't know how much good I can do I think I can do a lot so it runs under this this here again this isn't really the main creek the main creeks a quarter of a mile from here this is just a tributary that runs off the mountains through pasture runs under there I gotta I'll go to the other side drop a chain down in there and pull all that out right in there is where I got it that was all brushy before we burn it that's where i got off on this the water moccasin so anyway yeah this is fun <laughs> so far no snakes haven't seen any haven't been snake bit i haven't even got a mosquito bite yet which is amazing i was expecting that but i'll probably be covered with ticks before it's over with but anyway if i can get the tractor right on down in here i'll try to get some of that out i hear something walking in the woods besides me Huh. Um, anyway, we'll see what we can do.
This is gonna be a mess. This will be a mess. Okay, still working on it. We've been down here a couple hours. Uh, making progress, making good progress. I tried to cut this tree down right there. And, you know, it did just what I thought it was gonna do. It hung up in the, in the trees up above it. They had no chance of going down, but I was mad. So, so I tried to cut it down. And um, I'm afraid to push on it with the tractor. I don't know, I'm afraid it's gonna kick out and do something. So I'm gonna tie a chain on it about six inches or a foot up above the where it's cut there. It's completely cut, it fell. Took the wedge out, the deal out of it and everything. And, and then I'll hook the chain to the bucket on the tractor. And I've got a long chain so I can get a ways back and see if I can pull it loose and get, get it to fall on down. In the meantime, I've been doing a lot of good here. I'm getting this all pushed out. You know, I, I need a grapple. I, one of those grapples that goes out and picks stuff up and puts it where you want. I don't have a grapple. I don't have any way to do that. So I need this all cleaned out right through here. I need it cleaned out right through here too around that tree that I'm cutting down and see if I can get this water to, to channel right on out. Um, we're getting there. It's just taking some time. Like I say, a couple hours so far. So not totally unexpected though. All right. Okay, that worked out great. No drama, as Janice said. We hooked on here with the chain. We had the chain tied around it and we just pulled it off nice and easy. It slipped right off where it had been cut. Uh, can I get the film? There it is, slipped right off where it had been cut. It's down there, it's leaning that way. I can knock it down or whatever with the tractor now without worrying about it doing something weird. What a mess. All right, so it's about 11.20. We got down here about nine, that's not too bad. A little less than two and a half hours. What a mess. All right, people that do something that's stupid. So all this stuff came from someone else's place and washed up on us. So I took, I actually took a tractor through here, got it all carried through, carried through, driven through, a little winded and hot, and smoothed all this out as I went. Janice has a pile there ready. We're gonna have a fire. We're gonna put sticks on it all afternoon. And so the idea is the water's supposed to come that way and go through here smoothed all this out a little bit after I drove through there and this big pile was like right here so I don't know we'll have to see in theory the water is going to go this way and then once it gets on the back side of this pile right there it'll go on around and out but I wouldn't swear to it we'll just have to see I don't have a grapple I really need a grapple and it's hard to burn all this because it's got so much dirt in it there's the tree that I took down it's a uh, kind of suspended but it's a it's a good place for it so i'm pretty confident we'll be back down here again but this this was the way the water was supposed to go it's supposed to go that way if it goes this way it doesn't really get down to the creek very easy and it will it can trickle through there a little bit now hopefully if there's not a bunch of other trash coming down it water has a tendency to work its way through stuff so We'll see. Hopefully we got the, the dam out enough and, and it'll come on through. The good news is no snakes. Didn't get snake bit. Uh, I'm sure I've got some ticks. We'll have to deal with that later. I didn't get mosquito bit that I know of. I didn't feel anything bite me. So that's kind of amazing. The, the humidity and all those circumstances must be just right. So we didn't have any mosquitoes. Because generally down there, something like this, it's horrible. So we're gonna go back and uh, eat just a bite, I think and then we'll come back down and see if we can start picking up all these sticks and all this debris and have one big heck of a fire. I'm also gonna take the tractor on the outside and if we need to, we can pull stuff up into the road, but we're gonna have a heck of a fire down there in just a, a little bit. So yeah, uh, that's that for now. Okay, we're headed back. I'll drive this time. Okay. I'll drive. We're headed back. She wants to drive, but I'm driving. It's a guy thing. Okay, we're headed back. We got a little bit of eat, a little bit of lunch eaten, and we're gonna go down and see if we can have a bunch of fires. Um, should be easy. It'll be a little hot, but it'll be easy. And we'll get in here in the afternoon. It's about about twelve o'clock or so, twelve thirty. Okay, so I spent about another thirty minutes with the tractor. I thought I was done, but I wasn't. I've really got it a lot better now, so the water will run out the direction we want it to. It took a little bit of work, but. Um, just trying to get the thing turned around in there was the hard part. But yeah, it's a lot better. Janice has a fire going. We had a big fire going a little bit ago. Uh, it's going good now. 
she's throwing stuff in here. I've been throwing stuff in here. Now we just have to wait till it rains real hard. And uh, see for sure if the water goes the direction it, I think it will, but I think it will, it'll be good. Well, it's amazing how much water comes through here. You, you know, it's just, it's a storm runoff off of the mountains and, and the pastures to the north. Um, and there's, you know, some 300 feet tall mountains, 250, 300 feet tall, but it all comes off there and it's separate from the creek, just the storm runoff. So it's dry a lot of times, but when it's raining, there's an incredible amount of water comes through here. And so this dam, the, all, all this stuff had washed up from that tree to this tree. And then there was another tree right there that I cut down. It's laying right there now, I pushed it out of the way. And all across here, it was just all dammed off with uh, with limbs and sticks and and sawed off pieces of wood like, like this. I mean, that's a piece of firewood they cut. But somehow it got down creek. They didn't, you know, I mean, there's it's, all of its cut stuff that they had done. But anyway, now it'll run this way. It'll run through here and it'll run under that tree there and through there. I have to, I'll come back and cut the tree. I'll cut it right in there, right in there, and then right in there. And I'll pull this piece out of the middle. But it, it'll, once it get, runs through there, it, um, and it will it's where it's supposed to be. And so everything up there drains down this way into here. So this was quite a project. Um, thought about it for quite a while, how I could get the tractor in here and everything. And uh, um, it worked out good. Front end grapple on the tractor, like I say, something that goes out and grabs stuff like that and pick it up, that'd be nice. I just haven't spent the money. The time I get it, the third function installed and the grapple on it, it's about three grand, you know, and I just haven't done it. So anyway, um, getting ready to go. Okay, heading into town for some groceries. Uh, showered, cleaned up a little bit, heat of the day. This is a good job to do during the heat of the day. Although it's not bad, it says 86 degrees. So head into town, I gotta go to Roy's Grocery, you know? Uh, it's my favorite grocery store. I like it better than Walmart Super Centers. I like it better than Crest and Safeways. And I like it better than the Walmart neighborhood and all the places in Oklahoma City. This little grocery store here in, in a small town of 2400 is my favorite grocery store. They have everything that I want. It's, uh, it's, it's easy to navigate through. The people are friendly. They carry stuff out to your car. It's just, it's just a really cool little grocery store. They play country music. In, on the radio in there and it's just uh, it's I, I like shopping there so uh, Janice is one to bring stuff down here all the time but me I just buy it here and really it, it's it's comparable maybe even some things are cheaper than an hour in Oklahoma City so it, it's not a price difference it's just I, I don't know it's just the guy's got his he's got a big warehouse and and he, he does really well keeping everything stocked up so my favorite place of course that's my all-time favorite store in town tractor supply this town would be horrible without tractor supply. They have everything that I need between them and, and uh, Ace Hardware. Here we go, Roy's Cardinal Food Store. I call it Old Roy's. Uh, and makes Janice mad generally, but I, I don't mean any disrespect because I really do like the store. There's the fireworks stand, the ice, the uh, ice cone, ice cream cone, not ice cream, just a uh, snow cone, snow cone stand, and Roy's Cardinal Foods. 